Hi, I'm Sue Rad, and I'm going to show you how to make a deliciously healthy dish that you can eat for breakfast, for dessert, and even as a snack. It's called wheat berries with walnuts and sultanas. And I'm very excited today to be right here on location in a beautiful forest in Slavonia, Croatia. Now, Slavonia is considered the wheat belt of Croatia. Indeed, it's so fertile, it's actually the food bowl for this country. Everything grows here and grows very well. Now, what you'll need for this recipe is some whole wheat, and this is beautiful organic wheat we sourced this morning, otherwise known as wheat berries. This stuff is really amazing because if you have insulin resistance, it helps to lower the resistance and protect you against diabetes. It also protects your heart and keeps you away from cancer. The next ingredient is some gorgeous walnuts and these are freshly sourced. Walnuts grow here in plentiful supply. And we're going to use some sultanas. In other words, dried grapes. But you could substitute any nuts that you choose uh, or any other dried fruit. Now the first thing you'll need to do is to cook the whole wheat, the wheat berries. So let's do that. So we've got a cup of whole wheat and we're just going to add that to our pot. And to that we're going to add some water. We'll add about five cups of water and that should be enough to cook this wheat until it's really, really tender. The wheat must be cooked soft, otherwise it's very, very chewy. The good thing is it's a whole grain and whole grains are the kind of carbs you want to keep company with. Now, if you cook this on the stove top like this, it does take some time. It takes about an hour to get the whole grain soft, but if you've got a pressure cooker, you could do it in just 15 minutes. So let's bring this to the boil. Now, while this is coming to the boil, let's prepare our walnuts. You could simply, because they're a very soft nut, just grab them and break them up into little pieces. And we've got, incidentally, here, three quarters of a cup of walnuts, or better still, and this is the way it's traditionally done in Croatia, you grind them down to a nice powder, and that gives the whole wheat berries a lovely little coating. We've got a special little implement here, but you could use at home, a parmesan grater or pop the walnuts into a food processor and just pulse them. So we just pop them into this chamber here and we start grinding straight into our bowl which will be the mixing bowl. Now walnuts are a true superfood. People who eat nuts at least five times a week or more, compared to eating them once a week or less, have about a 50% lower risk of dying from heart attack. This is really easy. It looks like hard work, but it's actually a lot of fun. Now this has come to a lovely rolling boil, as you can see, and all it's going to take is about 60 minutes of patience for the wheat berries to cook thoroughly. Now remember, if you've got a pressure cooker, as soon as it builds up pressure, you only need 15 minutes and it's all done. Okay, now that is done, so we're going to just remove the lid, and the berries are quite soft now, and switch off the burner here. Now let's drain our wheat berries and you will see how lovely and soft they already are. Mind you, they'll still give you a good chew, give your jaw a good workout. Now give this a really good shake so it's fully drained and then we're ready to go. So we'll add that to our walnuts and you can see the lovely brown colour of these wheat berries which signifies a high antioxidant content. 
And now for the finishing touches. So let's add some sultanas. About half a cup will be just right. But sometimes I use some other exotic fruits. They could be poor, poor uh, dried pears. You could really use anything you like. And finally, something to bring it all together. We're going to use honey as a sweetener because honey, unlike sugar, doesn't just provide sweetness, but it provides many phytonutrients, again, which have antioxidant and anti-inflammatory properties. So let's add in two tablespoons of honey, and this again is locally sourced honey. You could use any honey that you prefer. And finally, just give that a really good stir through. And you can see how the ground walnuts are going to thicken it up and smooth out all those little wheat berries. And this is just really, really delicious. I've had this, as I mentioned earlier, not just as a breakfast food, but really I've, I've served it to guests as a dessert and it's really, really yummy. Okay, so just to dish out, and now it's tasting time. Let's give this dish a go. So you don't need a huge serve, and incidentally, this dish being made from a whole grain will supply you with about six grams of dietary fiber per serve, no cholesterol, and it's also low in sodium. Mmm, that is delicious. It's chewy, it's satisfying, it's hearty, and it's good for you. Real food is medicine. For more great culinary medicine ideas, why not head over to my website, www.suerad.com. See you next time. <laughs>